परमानंद अशोक पवार वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एन बी नवले सिंहगढ़ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग सोलापुर आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय बी फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग जड़गांव आफ्टर दैट आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय एमटेक इन पावर सिस्टम फ्रॉम टीआईटी भोपाल करेंटली आई एम हैविंग द एट इयर्स टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड टूडे वी आर डीलिंग विद द टाइप ऑफ सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मोटर एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज कैपेसिटर स्टार्ट कैपेसिटर run induction motor so there are different types of single phase induction motor so according to the connection of the auxiliary winding the single phase induction motor is classified as resistance start motor that is split phase induction motor capacitor start motor capacitor start capacitor run motor permanent split motor and shaded pole motor so today we are discussing that is capacitor start and capacitor run induction motor so let's we we'll start in detail about capacitor start and capacitor run motor so as shown in figure v is the single phase supply voltage i is the current flowing through that the single phase induction motor so as we know that according to the construction the single phase induction motor stator has a two winding first winding is called as main winding second winding is called as auxiliary winding so in capacitor start capacitor run motor we are using the winding that is the auxiliary winding uses two capacitor that is c1 and c2 and basically these two capacitors are c1 and c2 both are in working condition means when the motor is running these two capacitors that is c1 and c2 both are in running condition so that's why this motor is called as capacitor run start and capacitor run induction motor so according to the type of construction again the stator is made up of with silicon steel and the rotor which is basically a squirrel cage rotor made up with a various copper bars short circuited with the end ring so let's we'll start the detailed discussion about capacitor start and capacitor motor this motor is identical to the capacitor start motor except the starting winding is not open after starting so that both the remains connected to the supply when run as well as at starting there are basically two designs are there so in first design the capacitor c is used for both starting and running condition the design the eliminate the need of centrifugal switch at the time of the same time so the improved power factor with efficiency of a motor and the other design that is capacitor c1 and c2 They are used in a starting winding as shown in figure. The smaller capacitor C1 required to optimum running condition is permanently connected in series with the starting winding. The much larger capacitor C2 is connected in parallel with C1 for optimum starting and remains in the circuit during the starting. The starting capacitor C1 is disconnected when the motor approaches about 75 percent of synchronous speed. the motor then runs as an single phase induction motor so as shown in figure there is s is a centrifugal switch so the capacitor c1 is a means means uh, available at the starting as well as running condition of a single phase induction motor that's why the this motor is called as capacitor start and capacitor run motor so while the starting capacitor C1 is disconnected when the motor is approaches near about 75% of its speed so the motor will start at C2 that is with example of the auxiliary winding so this is the actual working of a single phase capacitor start capacitor run induction motor so this is the actual phasor diagram of capacitor start and capacitor run induction motor so this first phase diagram will show you that is voltage v that is supply voltage ia is the current in the auxiliary winding im is the current in a main winding so the angle between phi that is less than 90 that is 80 degree that's why it will give you the high starting torque and in figure number 2 in which will shows the capacitor start and capacitor run motor in which the phase angle between armature 
सॉरी म्हणजे ऑक्झिलरी वाइंडिंग अँड मेन वाइंडिंग शुड बी नाईन्टी डिग्री सो फिगर बेसिकली शोज द फेजर डायग्राम्स ऑफ कॅपॅसिटर स्टार्ट कॅपॅसिटर रन मोटर म्हणजे ॲट द टाईम ऑफ स्टार्टिंग बोथ कॅपॅसिटर्स आर इन द सर्किट वेन द फाय इज ग्रेटर दॅन नाईन्टी द कॅपॅसिटर सी एस इज डिस्कनेक्टेड दॅट इज सी वन इज डिस्कनेक्टेड अँड फाय बिकम्स नाईन्टी डिग्री सो दिस टॉर्क स्पीड कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विल बी शोन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ टॉर्क स्पीड कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ कॅपॅसिटर स्टार्ट कॅपॅसिटर रन मोटर सो म्हणजे ऑन द वाय ॲक्सिस देर इज टॉर्क ऑन द एक्स ॲक्सिस देर इज अ स्पीड सो म्हणजे ॲट द टाईम ऑफ स्टार्टिंग द मेन अँड म्हणजे ऑक्झिलरी वाइंडिंग दॅट इज बोथ कॅपॅसिटर्स आर इन सर्किट बट आफ्टर द सेंट्रीफ्युगल स्विच दॅट इज यस इज ओपन द मेन अँड म्हणजे ऑक्झिलरी वाइंडिंग द रन कॅपॅसिटर इज ओनली रनिंग सो दिस मोटर ॲट द टाईम ऑफ स्टार्टिंग ॲज वेल ॲज रनिंग कंडिशन द कॅपॅसिटर इज यूज फॉर द रनिंग कंडिशन सो द व्हॅल्यू कॅपॅसिटर मोटर आर क्वाईट अँड स्मूथ रनिंग सो द कॅपॅसिटर स्टार्ट अँड कॅपॅसिटर रन इंडक्शन मोटर हॅज अ इफिशियन्सी इज मोर द वेरियस म्हणजे ॲप्लिकेशन्स ऑफ द कॅपॅसिटर स्टार्ट कॅपॅसिटर रन इंडक्शन मोटर्स समटाईम इट इज यूज इन पंपिंग रेफ्रिजरेशन अँड एअर कॉम्प्रेसर बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाईम दिस टाईप ऑफ सिंगल फेज कॅपॅसिटर स्टार्ट कॅपॅसिटर रन इंडक्शन मोटर इज यूज फॉर सायलेन्स इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट मीन्स दिस मशीन्स आर व्हेरी व्हेरी less noisy so these machines are used in the hospital applications where the machineries that is biomedical instruments are used which will require a single phase induction motor so this is used in hospitals similarly the capacitor start capacitor run induction motors are used due to the less noisy operation it will be used for the studios where the film making is operating so this is in concern with capacitor start capacitor run induction motor thank you